a pleasure to meet y'all at last, and welcome back to Nerf Secret Revealed. Now, this addition to episode is probably going to be something that is not going to be so looked up, but now I would just like to say that in this part of the season, this episode specifically, is going to be talking more about how space will tend to function with today's human life. Because after all, as explorers and as human beings, we tend to have a lot of opportunity to try to go out of our comfort zone and try to see what's out there, especially when it comes to space flight. Now space flight out there is quite a rare thing out there these days, but anyone out there who would have themselves access to some form of space flight out there, no matter the expense or the rarity, it may be hard to come by at some point, but who knows just how well it might seem to be. Maybe one day by the 2100s, we might expect a lot of space flight to occur. Flying cars, telepathic communication, AI, anything of that sort. We would really expect the future to hold so much that we already have already, along with a lot more. But when it comes to space flight though, who just knows about what could happen? I honestly feel like the second I have myself a ticket to fly through the cosmos and probably head to another planet or whatnot, I would seriously think about starting a nerf war up there beyond the stratosphere of this planet alone. I still feel that it would be a possibility that I would never want to let go of my life. Just like if I ever had myself a plan to bury a time capsule, or if I had myself a plan to become president of America, or if I even had myself a plan to own as many rare items as I possibly can, making me one of the ultimate collectors of all time. Now, to be honest, I've already gotten a lot of rare items of my own that I was able to get my hands on from a lot of things out there that exist in today's culture, but when it comes to space flight, when it comes to the way of the future, it's still something out there that I would like to have take in effect. Because within 50 years or so, we might expect that to be a mainstream way of transportation. Simply using a spaceship as a way to get around in the same way that an aircraft would be a way of getting around the planet itself. I do feel that spaceflight would be able to become a faster way of traveling around the Earth itself and probably causing a little ruckus or something with the weather or the climate itself, but it's still something out there that I feel like anyone can try and do. But when it comes to spaceflight, when it comes to anything about Nerf itself, I would still have some sort of nerf war take place with the usage of spaceflight. Probably set a spaceship to autopilot or something, and then just have a nerf war being commenced. Probably with an automated system or something like that. I feel that it's probably something that seems far-fetched, but I still have knowledge that spaceflight is going to be something that will be absolutely realistic. I still, though, have some doubt about how long it would take to occur, but when the time does come, I'll certainly know exactly what will take place and what will unfold before my very eyes. And I still have, you know, some other questions about all of that, but I still know it will happen at some point. If anything is possible, then we know that space and time itself could change because of us. And so, I do feel like that out of all the subjects I've probably covered on Nerf Secret Revealed so far, with more than 200 episodes, it was still pretty awesome for me to just go ahead and label out Space Flight here on this series alone. And so now, I'm going to be moving on right away. If you want to see more good on my channel though, make sure that you like, subscribe, comment, follow me on social media, and stay on the Hollywood side.